listen to the adventure on Pumlet on W4CY Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. Or is it failure by design? I'm hoping I can find a way to sleep tonight Manifest a different world inside my mind This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio and I'm here with Vincent Torres from Awake at Last. And you know what? After being here since Wednesday till like 2, 3 in the morning every night, I'm awake at last too. Hey. <laughs> so you guys had to be awake early and, and kill it here at Blue Ridge Rock Festival. And uh, with weather and everything else, how was it? It was not... Honestly, it was really awesome. So we, we knew that we were going to have to get here early because we knew we were going to have to open this thing up right. And, you know, and luckily my drummer doesn't live too far, like maybe two hours. So we just came down a few days ago, just did the drive, and then we got a chance to rehearse. And by the time we got here, we just, like, opened it up right, and it was awesome. So a nice. lot of new fans, a lot of old friends and family came out. So it's nice to see the Blue Ridge is, like, thriving this year, and they're having a good time. Yeah, it's pretty cool that you can play that early when it's – like not great weather and there's a bunch of people there for you people don't let the weather affect them right you know they, they they just gotta you gotta rock out anyway plus if people keep on you know pushing away the the negative weather we might be all right because there you go raining and i'll knock on wood on that but yeah I, i'm hoping it stays this way i the i was nice saying breeze, that you know i was saying that driving here this morning i was like just putting that vibe out there in the universe yeah, like not get today. rid of the rain let get us rid have of rain. today you know that's right we need it after all this time with COVID oh, and everything, yeah, we need live music. That's true. And, and, you know, live music and all those, like, main venues, like, really did struggle during all that. So yeah. it's nice to see the community come back together. You know what? Every It's funny, all the bands that I'm seeing behind, you know, backstage, they're all like, yo, I haven't seen you in, like, three years. I know, you right? Know? Like, oh, since before the world ended. Like, what's up, man? Like, and that's so awesome and like inspiring to see that like a lot of my friends and a lot of these great bands just like powered through it you know we're all still here and like doing the thing I, I love it you know same for me like I go around and I do all the festivals so people I would see like every weekend or every month it's like hey what's up and it's been like three years yeah, dude, <laughs> you know it's wild but we're back together live music is killing it here Let's tell our listeners about your music. I, I hate boxing an artist in a genre because, you know, That's they love fair. to do that nowadays. And art and nowadays, I think a lot of bands are so everybody in the band has different influences and different things they like that you kind of have, you know, blending to make your unique music. I agree. And it, it is one of those things where you always like it's hard to categorize something. But, you know, if you're into, you know, driven rock and roll with like a positive kind of law of attraction style message that's that. trying to elevate and inspire that's got like a hint of spirituality and like just a dose of like you know magic you might like it you know it's nice. like a, it's a vibe i i try to like tell stories but also like tell them in a way where they're relatable and we're like you know we can connect on those levels because you know we're all going through like weird times right now you know and so I try to like keep things elevated and inspired and just kind of vibe it out so if you like like rock with a little bit of that emo torch you know like a little bit of that early, that 2008 9 10 emo and I think it might be a vibe that you would dig <laughs> nice and see I love that because you know I've my music side of me, but I'm also a motivational speaker. So right. to me, music is some of the best empowerment, motivation, therapy, all that stuff. And I love hearing guys like 1, you percent, man. using it for that and, Not to. and spreading that positive message. Because I think we need it more than ever now, Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. There's enough negativity in the world. People got to come together and like enjoy these vibes and just like let the music take you you know to to where you need to be i love headspace, that you know it, instead of letting all the chaos and all the like you know 
the left and rights of everything just kind of cloud your thoughts, you know. Oh, I hate that left and right it's thing. Weird. I like, know. my opinion is they're all on the same team and ain't mine. We need to unite together and just. Just be you. I think we're all just trying to survive in a very changing and very, like, fast-moving world, especially with, you know, even with, like, you know, the technologies and everything. People are so, you know, if anything, when things shut down, a lot of people were at home on their screens, right? So things, like, social media-wise have become so intense. And it's like you don't even know what you can believe anymore. You might get an email right. and be like, I don't even know if this is from somebody real. You know what I mean? Like, this I just might just did be that. a thing, you know? And, I have a client that sent me an email, and it was all it was was an attachment. I'm like, I I text him like, did this really come from you? Because you, I don't like this looks shady. I don't I'm know not opening this, this link, okay? Bro. <laughs> but, dude, I know what you mean. But, but yeah, you know that's why it's good to come together. It's good to have these like these these moments where we're like in the same area, you know, sweating, dancing, singing, just rocking out to. You know, to our therapy, you know? Like, this is what we do to get through all that nonsense. Yeah, 100%. You, know, you, you got to come together with your peeps, you know? You know, and you brought up something that, you know, triggered something I've been talking about a lot is if you're going to take a positive out of this pandemic, it's the fact that musicians like you guys got to get off that hamster wheel of how fast life is and technology to where you can't even really create the same as you used to because it's like, hey, I got to create this in like 15 minutes uh, from one gig to the other, right. you know, instead of being able to sit down and really explore what's deep inside of you that creates that great music. It is true. And I honestly think that like, you know, like you said, if we're grasping for the silver line here, there is a lot of the bands, you know, the ones that stuck through it, the ones that got through it, you know, that was a hard time for any of us, especially those of us who are like, you know, really pursuing it ahead of time. But a lot of them wrote, you know, like I feel like every time the world gets a little chaotic, the music always gets really fucking awesome. Yeah. So it's like now we're like on this new renaissance and I'm hoping to see more festivals like Blue Ridge, like really blow up, blow things out of the water because, you know, we've been missing live music for a while. So, you know, there was that era back in the, you know, where people would just go to shows because shows were happening. And yeah. Like, now that we lost it for a couple of years, it seems like everybody's like, oh, back. man, we missed this. Like, we need to have that. And, like, so oh. I'm hoping that it's, like, a new renaissance for the music, like, world. And I hope to see even more, like, awesome albums come out and songs. Because we all went through it, you know. Like, I've it's the one conversation all of us musicians can have is, like, man, those last couple of years were really tough. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, and then you have people like I'm interviewing in a little while, Jerris Johnson, who came out of that. You know, like, he, he basically got discovered during COVID, that's, you know? See, that's the so that's cool too, shit. You know, a lot of people were at home, and a lot of people had access to, you know, finding the artist that speaks to them, you know? So I'm, 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 I'm looking for, like, an optimistic future, man. I want to see more rock and roll, and I want to see it continue to thrive. So I hope that... It does so. I think it will. When you look around here, it's definitely alive and well. Anybody, anybody that says rock is dead has not been to a rock festival. That's true. It's where we. <laughs> it's where we still lurk. Exactly. Know? Exactly. So tell everybody how they can connect with you on social media, on the web, and most importantly, buy your merch because. Artists don't survive today without that. You're not wrong. Merch is always a beautiful thing. Honestly, if you go to the website, awakeatlastrock.com, it is the ultimate hub. It's got connections to everything, including merch and all the social medias. Most of the social medias were just Awake At Last. I think there might be a few that'll be like Awake At Last Rock or something like that. I think that's mainly just the website. But you are, um, you know, if you're looking for that kind of a vibe, I hope you guys find us. And I hope that we can meet you soon as we start to get back to shows and come out of that dark the last couple of years we had, you know? It is looking bright, I think. I hope so, man. And, man, you guys killed it here at Blue Ridge. Can't wait to see more coming from me, and everybody needs to follow you or they can't listen to my show. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, thanks a lot for your music, and thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. I appreciate you as well, man. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.